All right then, my friends. So we have our project list pretty much sorted. What I'd like to do now is place a couple of buttons up here at the top, which when you click on those buttons, it's going to order this list in a different way. So for example, we'll have a button which says by person, and that's going to order these by person or a button which says by project title, and that's going to order them by title, okay? So then, let us add this functionality. The first thing we need to do is add a couple of buttons right at the top over here. So, let's go to the top. It's still going to be inside the container. All of our content for each page goes inside the container. So, we want to do a row, right? We're going to have a row of buttons might not take up the whole width of the row, but it's still a row at the end of the day because we're going to use the grid to position these. So let's do a V hyphen layout component. And again, this is going to be a row. So we have to type in row there. And I'm going to give this a class equal to M B hyphen three. All we're doing here is giving this a margin bottom to the strength of three. So inside this now, what would we like to do? Well, I just want to output two buttons, one which says order by title and one which says order by person or something like that. So let's do the first one, V hyphen button. Now this button is going to be a small button, so we'll use the small prop. I also want to make this flat, which means that it's going to have a transparent background and no drop shadow. The color prop is going to be equal to gray, which means the text will be gray and when you hover over it, the background will be a lighter gray as well. Now inside this button, I would like both an icon on the left and also a little text. So first of all, let's do the icon. So V hyphen icon, and we need to use the prop left on this. We also want this to be small, so use the small prop as well. And this icon is gonna have a keyword of folder. I got that again from the materialize icon. If you just control F over here and type in folder, you can see it's gonna be this thing right here, all right? So that's the icon. Now we need some text. So let's just do a span to contain that. I'm going to give this a class of caption. That is the small text and also text hyphen lowercase just to make this all lowercase as well. Now then inside here, I'll just say by project name. So if we save this and preview this in a browser, it's going to look something like that. That looks nice, right? So when we click this, I want to order them by the project title or the project name. Right, so I want two buttons. So let's copy this dude and paste it down here another time. This time, I want the icon not to be a folder, but to be a person because we're going to order by the person now. So again, I'll just type in the person keyword. That again was from the Materialize Icons website. I just searched for person and it showed me this icon. So let's save that. And again, down here, we'll say by person this time, save it and view this in a browser. We should have two buttons now by product name and by person. OK, cool. So that's the buttons done. Now we need to implement some kind of JavaScript functionality that is going to order these by either the project title, the name or the person. Now, that's it for Beautify as far as this lesson goes. The rest is just going to be standard JS code. So let us create a method and hook these things up to that method when we click on these things. So what I'm going to do is attach a click event to each one of these buttons. So at click, and that's going to be equal to a function. Now I'm going to call this function sort by. You can call it whatever you want. We're going to define that down below in a minute. We're also going to pass through a parameter into this function to sort it by a particular thing. Now, when we click on this button, we want to sort it by the project name or rather the title, right? The project title. So we're going to pass that string through when we click on this button so that when this function fires, we know that it's by the title we want to sort these things. Now I'm going to do a similar thing down here on this button, but this time I'm going to pass through instead of title person because this time we want to order by person, right? So then let's define this function down here in the view instance. So underneath the data, let's create the methods. And this is an object. The first method we're going to create is sort by. That's what we called it. I remember we take in a parameter, we take in a string, and that string is basically the property 
which we want to sort by. So I'll just call this prop, call it whatever you want. Okay, so inside here, we are going to use the sort function to sort our data. And this is the data that we're going to sort. So what I'm going to do is write this out first of all, then I'll briefly explain it. So we'll say this dot projects to access the projects right here, first of all, then we'll use the sort method. This is a normal JavaScript method and it takes a function as a callback. And this function is going to be an arrow function, takes in parameter A and parameter B, which represent two data elements and the arrow. And then what we're going to do is take A and then in square brackets prop. So that could either be the title or it could be the person, depending on which button we click. And then we're going to say less than B and then in square brackets, the prop again. And then we're going to say question mark and then minus one colon one. Whew. Okay, so that might look like a load of junk or gobbledygook to you. So what is this? Well, the sort function is a normal JavaScript function. And what it does is it compares items next to each other in an array. So it performs this function right here that we created on two items at a time inside this array to determine which of those two items should come first in the array. So this function right here should either return one or minus one. It's one if we need to change the order, minus one if we don't need to change the order. So if A's value is less here, this is a ternary operator, we're evaluating something, we're using a question mark. If it's true, we return this. If it's false, we return this. So if A right here, if the value of A is less, then what we're doing is returning minus one. And that means we don't change the order, right? So A is already less than B. Now then, if that was the other way around, if A was bigger than B, then this would evaluate to false. We return one and it rearranges the two elements right here. All right. So it performs this function on every consecutive pair of objects in the array until it's eventually sorted correctly. So we take in two items at a time, A and B right here. That represents two items in here, or it could be these two or the middle two, etc., because it performs it consecutively on each pair. We take those in and then we look at the values of A and B. So this could be the title of A, the title of B, or it could be the person of A and the person of B. And it's comparing those two things, right? So whatever comes first is dependent on the letter, I guess. So A comes before B, so A is less than B, right? So that's what we're doing right here. We're looking at these different strings and returning either one or minus one to reorder the array in alphabetical order. Now, if you wanna learn more about the sort function, I'm gonna leave a link to a guide down below. But for now, let's just save this and preview it in a browser. So now let's click on by project name and you can see we've ordered this by project title alphabetically, C comes before D, right? If we click on by person, then we order it by person, C, G, R, and T. So these two are now working and we have successfully ordered our projects. In the next video, what I'd like to do is show you how to create tooltips in Vuetify. And those tooltips are gonna be when we hover over these buttons right here.